Go now to Cape Town for some exciting medical news. An advanced medical robot is set to change South African medical and surgical procedures. The Da Vinci X1 robot has been used in a procedure to treat colorectal cancer patients at Tigerberg Hospital in Cape Town. It's the first time a robot has been used for surgery in a South African public hospitals. Doctors say the groundbreaking technology allows them to see nerves up to 10 times better. Our reporter Aisha Ismail joins us from Cape Town with all the details. Aisha, this is an amazing story. You spent many hours at Tigerberg Hospital today watching this surgery. Um, tell us more about uh, the surgery and the patient. So Sally, it was indeed a proud and historic accomplishment for the doctors at Tigerberg Hospital. And as you say, this was the very first time that a public hospital used a robot to perform surgical procedure. And they actually started yesterday and today they were also they also did another patient and this was a um, colorectal procedure um, dealing with and, and other procedures will also be done dealing with uh, the, the various cancers. And the patient um, that was um, um, operated on yesterday and that we spoke to today was a patient who came in for a colorectal procedure and she was able to talk to us um, Lorraine Hayes from the Northern Cape she was by her full senses she was awake and she said that she never thought that she would ever have a robot um, perform an operation on her but again um, this there's another um, da Vinci um, surgical robot also in the Western Cape at Krutuskia Hospital. But let's take a listen to what the doctor at who performed the very first operation um, yesterday at Tigerberg Hospital. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. I keep on being asked, what is the big difference? So what? It's a very expensive thing. The amazing thing is you see things 10 times better. It's, everything is magnified 10 times with these systems compared to normal well, looking with your eye. Um, by doing that, you can see nerves. Nerves that I do lots and lots of laparoscopic surgery, and nerves I've never ever seen before. Well, the last two days have been an eye opener. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. Um, and built into these systems, a huge part of what I do is complications, because we get lots of complications from in colorectal surgery because we're removing cancers in the depths of the pelvis, blood supplies, and great. These systems have built in angiogram technology that at, while we're operating, we push a button, inject the, uh, the anaesthetist injects something, and gee, as we can see the blood supply of the bell. So it's been shown to decrease um, morbidity, so complications, and quality of life after the procedure is much better because I can save nerves that we couldn't see previously. So it's an amazing, amazing step forward. I would imagine that this came at a very high cost indeed. You did mention that it could be used for other cancer treatments and the doc mentioned uh, laparoscopic surgery. Just tell us how it's going to be best utilized. So Sally, we know that this um, robot costs about, well, just under 40 million rand. And of course, the health authorities want to use this, um, you know, on, on, on wider platforms. So they're talking about gynecology, they're talking about liver cancer, and also using it, as I said, you know, for, for, for other um, surgeries as well. But again, let's listen to what Dr. Forgan has to, had to say. And of course, he was very excited to talk about this. And also, of course, becoming the very first surgeon to use this robot in South Africa in a public hospital. Our vision for this platform is that it's a multi-user platform. It isn't just colorectal. It'll be colorectal surgery, hepatobiliary surgery, gynecology, and urology. These are all spheres of surgery that do use advanced, um, use laparoscopy and minimally invasive surgery to um, address very serious pathologies in deep dark holes and far off places. Um, so as I said, I'm a, generally a cancer surgeon. My colleagues from gynecology, Dr. Viju Thomas up there, he does advanced endometriosis surgery. Um, our urological colleagues, Dr. Peter Spies and Fazana Kasim, they do prostate, bladder, and um, renal surgery. And these are all pretty difficult things that need specific techniques, which we've been doing laparoscopically up to this point. But to have this extra technology is an amazing step forward.
I mean, it really is incredibly good news for people needing those life-saving surgeries. 40 million rand, you say, bearing in mind it's budget tomorrow. Got to ask where the money came from. So, Sally, the money came from the Western Cape government and it was allocated by the Premier of the Western Cape through the Western Cape Health Department. And so, of course, we had a very proud um, Alan Windy sitting here, sitting, um, monitoring the operation that took place today. We had the Western Cape's head of health, Dr. Keith Clouty, and, of course, the MEC for Health, Norma French and Bombo, who talked about the backlog in elective surgeries that we have as a result of, of the various waves that we went through um, with with COVID-19 and during the pandemic and as you well know um, people could not go to hospital to have those elective surgeries done but she says we've now come out of the fourth wave and we need to now move swiftly to get people back to hospitals for those to go and have those all important um, surgery and, and operations done but she says you need it, it's all very well to have these expensive and as she said these expensive toys but you also need the political will to implement good health care that will benefit everybody in the province let's listen to what she had to say the last part of the is their political will i said at the global surgery uh, leadership i said there's no way again when we allow a pandemic allow a pandemic to be the one that has been running it's almost two years and then we end up leaving other disciplines or other services behind it cannot be you cannot have a, a central hospital as i know i saw the uh, the, the grant um, that has increased and then we're putting more money for the two central hospitals all right, so thank you so much uh, for that update. Remarkable medical breakthrough. That's our reporter in Cape Town, Aisha Ismail.